All right, next let's talk about just the tips and only for a minute or two. So when it comes to spraying, the tips, they serve two purposes. The first one is to regulate the flow. So think about it like this, these two sections here, this section of lawn and then that one across the sidewalk way over there, those two sections together are 4,000 square feet. To blanket spray those two areas, I would need to walk back and forth and evenly coat the area. If I took a tip like this with a very small orifice, it will take quite a while to force the four gallons through. Just watch. So I've got that little yellow tip on there and I'm just gonna go ahead and see how long it takes to push out 64 ounces or a half a gallon. And what you'll find is that it's a minute and 20 seconds, which between you and me, that's slow. That would take forever if you were spraying. That's 64 ounces and it took a minute and 20 seconds. So that means it would take two minutes and 40 seconds. So over two and a half minutes to just get out one gallon with that little yellow tip. Now let's take a tip with a much larger orifice opening and see the difference. Now I've got that heavier flow tip on there and you're gonna see that things go much, much faster, maybe even a little bit too fast. Now in the next section, we're gonna get a lot deeper when it comes to these tips, but for now, just know that my goal as a DIYer is to be able to get this four gallons of spray mix out across that 4,000 square foot of area and do it at a comfortable walk pace. I don't want it to flow too slow, so it takes a long time, but I also don't want it to flow too fast, so I have to run to get it done. So choosing a tip with the proper flow rate is very important, but the second consideration or the second thing the tips do is they actually create a droplet pattern and a droplet size that's gonna work best for the application that you're doing. The first tip we looked at has a tiny orifice and it creates a nice fan spray and the droplets are very fine. This is ideal for an application like a weed killer where you want as much of the liquid to stick to the surface of the weed leaf as possible. The smaller or finer the droplets, the more of them will land on the weed to kill it. On the other hand, this tip that allows a much faster flow rate, it also delivers a more large coarse droplet size. This is helpful for applications that I'm going to need to water in. I, I'd rather these larger droplets plunge through the leaf canopy and get into the thatch or touch the soil right away when I spray them, and that will just help me when I go to water them in later. So in this training, I'm gonna be using this T-Jet Turbo Flood Jet Wide Angle Flat Fan Tip. It's a TF dash VP4. These tips deliver a flat spray pattern and you can also get them in several different sizes to regulate the flow rate. So why this particular tip and why the white one? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's because this tip allows enough liquid to come through that I can get an application done in just a few minutes but it's also not so fast that I have to run to get it done. Now, some of you want a more specific explanation on this, I know you do, and I actually did a really detailed blog post on all these different tips and what they mean and how they work and PSI and all of those different things. I'll give you a link in the description to that blog post below. But